technology. Everything for the man. Okay, welcome to EFTM. This is a quick look at how this USSD vulnerability appears. Basically, what I've set up here is a QR code that will automatically launch a website with the vulnerability built into it. Samsung Galaxy S2, quick QR code scanner, open up the web page, automatically launches. The web page has the vulnerability built in and the factory format commences. As soon as you get past this screen, you're gone. There is no way of backing out of this. That's how quick it is, matter of seconds. Now that QR code is just one example of the uh, way it can be transmitted. You may get a spam link in Twitter. You may get an email, could be Facebook. Who knows where this link will appear, but expect it to appear around the place. And a full factory reset means data all gone. And uh, you'll see here the phone boots back up and does a full reset deletes, reinstalls, everything. And there's no way out of this at this point. So Samsung Galaxy S2 uses this as an Australian Samsung Galaxy S2 um, vulnerable. Now, if you see here a couple of minutes later, you full reset, you're back to absolute brand new out of the box. Now, I thought the other thing to do is quickly check a couple other phones. This is the uh, Galaxy Nexus, um, so the Google Galaxy Nexus. Same thing, same QR code reader, same... Uh, QR code, uh, and by the way, don't try that QR code, it won't reset your phone, it'll take you directly to our website. Um, I've changed the link, so there you go, it brings you straight to the uh, the vulnerability, but this time it doesn't direct dial. That's the vulnerability in the Samsung phone, it direct dials. This is the Galaxy S3, um, and this one, same thing, same system, this time it does not do the direct dialing either. So at this point in time, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S2 vulnerable uh, and probably other phones and uh, you can expect over the course of the next few days more um, USSD codes to be developed or discovered uh, potentially across other devices but certainly some Samsung devices vulnerable different models different uh, around the world uh, but for me here in Australia Samsung Galaxy S2 vulnerable to this um, USSD attack uh, it can occur anywhere anyhow it could be a link it could be a tap and go NFC, uh, the QR code as you've seen, but I think the most uh, likely uh, outcome will be vulnerabilities in links um, that you won't expect via um, Twitter spam uh, and other social networking, email and other things like that. So keep your eye out, stay tuned, there'll be more on this over the coming days I'm sure. QR codes, links, doesn't matter, but uh, the vulnerability exists with the um, Samsung's extra layer on the Galaxy S2 at the very least.